Hmm? No, I mean no. You would best change. The same yeah, man, yes, let's say the Texan uh, yes, 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 yes. who has invested yes. a lot of money Students. into yes. petrol and technology yes. and all yes. electronical. Is is it is moving, is moving. Politics. Because the technology is moving, but the same man from a cultural point of view movies. is not moving. No. D'une part, la classe ouvrière française ne fera pas son unité politique et ne montera pas sur les barricades pour obtenir 12% d'augmentation des salaires. This is a typical Penny Baker film production of a typical Gerard visit. The visit and the exactly. film were both planned this morning and uh, I'll turn this over to Mr. Deborah, who I think you all know. And anybody wants to say it's in the weekend, you're welcome. Stick around. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to introduce to Mr. Godard this group. These are graduate students of New York University and the Institute for Film and Television. This is a great pleasure for us. We were pursuing you in a somewhat uh, frustrated manner across the United States and failed to catch up, but uh, God has arranged it so Mon Dieu, pourquoi m'avez-vous abandonné? Parce que je n'existe pas. I think one of the very fascinating things, to my mind, is this film as a study of young French people from generally bourgeois families. Well, I wouldn't say so. I mean, the main critic in, in France was because I, I think it's only because of the apartment. <laughs> the, uh, every say, well, it's only young bourgeois people. And to me, it's rather clear. I mean, there is only one girl who is really a bourgeois, and she said, I'm a banker's uh, yes. daughter. Yes. But the other one is an actor. He's not saying he's a bourgeois or a peasant or a mill. He just say as, as an actor. To me, an actor is not. Uh, did they hold these, these general political views before you began to work with them, or did you attempt to educate them politically, or were they simply very good actors who are capable of uh, showing this political conviction with believability. I think they were a very good actor. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were, they were not involved in the political uh, things before. I think uh, maybe a little bit, uh, two or three months after the picture was uh, over. But during the picture, no, we have, uh, I know that I knew them, for a few of them, but they were involved uh, in their life, I mean, uh, Jean-Pierre Léo was an actor, he was not interested by Maoism or Leninism, but he was interest, interested by acting. <laughs> and for example, Anne Gazemski was not interested uh, into, she was not engaged into political uh, students' uh, uh, things, but she was studying philosophy. And the painter was a real paint, was a real painter. And the girl was really coming from a, a province, province, you say? Provinces. From the province to Paris. So you, you see, they were engaged at least in what, in what uh, were they, in themselves. Uh, je vous montrer quelque chose, ça vous donnera une idée de ce que c'est que le théâtre. Les jeunes étudiants chinois, avait manifesté devant la tombe de Staline à Moscou. Et naturellement, les policiers russes leur avaient foutu sur la gueule et les avaient matraqués. Et le lendemain, en signe de protestation, les étudiants chinois s'étaient réunis à l'ambassade de Chine et avaient convoqué tous les journalistes de la presse occidentale. Des, des gens comme, euh, comme Life ou François ou, ou, ou comme ça. Et il y a un jeune chinois qui est arrivé, avec le visage entièrement recouvert de bandages et de pansements. Et il s'est mis à gueuler. Regardez ce qu'ils m'ont fait Regardez ce que j'ai Regardez ce que j'ai Regardez ce qu'ils m'ont fait, ces salauds de révisionnistes Alors tous ces moustiques de la presse occidentale se sont précipités autour de lui et ont commencé à le mitrailler avec leurs flashs pendant qu'il était en train d'enlever ses bandages. Et il s'attendait à voir son visage complètement lacéré ou couvert de sang ou, ou, plein, de, ou plein de choses comme ça. Et lui, il enlevait ses bandages comme ça tout doucement pendant que les autres le photographiaient. Et ils enlevaient. Et à ce moment-là, ils se sont aperçus qu'il avait, qu avait rien du tout sur le visage. Alors naturellement, les journalistes se sont mis à gueuler. Mais qu'est-ce que c'est que ces Chinois sont tous des fumistes, sont tous des comiques, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire Et pas du tout, ils n'avaient ils avaient rien compris du tout. Non, ils n'avaient pas compris que c'était du théâtre, du vrai théâtre. Euh, une réflexion sur la réalité. 
je veux dire quelque chose comme Brecht ou bien, ou bien Shakespeare, quoi. Are you more concerned to make a mirror, a reflection of the things that are happening, or are you more concerned to say, this should be done, this should happen? Can you say possibly in which well, uh, objective is your objective? To reflect well, the life that is there or to... No, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a movement between both. It's not... Ça n'est pas immobile. It's not uh, static, it's not no. immobile. It's, it's not static, it's a move, it's, it's a move, it's a movement, because even a simple polar, polaroid uh, photography is not, is not static, because uh, what is in it is the movement from, uh, from you to the photography, and then back from the photography to you. And the movie is not, it's neither you, neither the photography, it's the movement. Yes, interaction. And interplay. I don't know. It, it's inter it's only that. It's dialogue. It's uh, it's uh, that's why you can uh, have everything in a movie. Uh, real life painting, interview, music, uh, speech, monologue, Material. dialogue. Just because it's I don't when know you if it's a, a mirror thing. or if it's a reality. I think it's 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 going between both. Yes. It's a reflection. Yes. When it's you both say reality yeah. and reflection. Yes. I must say, I'm, I just like to shoot uh, almost to anybody I can. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I think uh, just I'm, uh, when I'm in the street or, in, uh, or waiting, I just like to, to look at people and uh, to stare at them for hours and hours. And uh, to me, the, the best picture is just a close-up of somebody. Uh, if, if he's saying something, all right. It's, uh, if he's saying nothing, uh, all right too <laughs> but it's always interesting more or less there is a, a I, I if it's not always interesting there is at least two or two or three seconds uh, in an hour we are interesting and that's already already something <laughs> that's why i like andy warhol i was going to ask <laughs> i like him um but andy warhol used well he uses he has a repertoire too of, of actors he uses certain people Goes deeper than I do. I'm, uh, well, you use actors, perhaps. Yes, but I like actors too because I, I admire and I like. Uh, well, I, I'm not an actor and I wouldn't like to to act. And I always amazed uh, why is he acting? Uh, what? Uh, why is he saying lines which uh, doesn't belongs to him? I mean, if somebody is saying to me, you would say that, I'd say, no, I don't want to. But an actor, he say, yes, I'd be glad to do it. So I'm always amazed about that. Ce que la mort de Staline nous a rendu, c'est le droit de faire le compte exact de ce que nous possédons, d'appeler par leur nom et notre richesse et notre dénuement to penser et poser à haute voix nos problèmes. I found a great deal of humor in your point of view toward the five characters, especially when they would give their speeches to each other. The cameras outside the room waving back and forth, I began to sense a kind of absurdity on their, um, in their own fanaticism. Now, am I... Well, that's your opinion, but uh, I think it's... Uh, no, you are... It's wrong, I don't see. No. De quelque façon qu'on retourne les choses, sur le chemin du socialisme, on rencontre toujours la révolution. Alors ta question laisse voir en arrière-plan une idée fausse. D'où viennent les idées justes Alors, d'où viennent les idées justes Alors... Elles tombent du ciel Depends what you follow. Sequence after sequence, without knowing uh, in which order I will uh, edit uh, them later on. That seems to me surprising that <coughs> the final shape of the film is largely determined by the montage. Oh uh, yes. Et puis la lutte des classes. Certaines classes sont victorieuses, d'autres sont éliminées. Cela, c'est l'histoire. L'histoire des civilisations depuis des millénaires. Mais est-ce que la lutte des classes disparaîtra sous la dictature du prolétariat Non. 
Dans son discours devant le congrès des ouvriers de transport de Russie le 29 mars 1921, Lénine a bien montré que la lutte des classes ne disparaît pas sous la dictature du prolétariat, mais qu'elle revêt seulement d'autres formes. Par exemple, I went from uh, I jumped from one shot to another, but from a logical point of view, no, not from the not from a graphic point of view, but from a meaning point of view. Projetez vos illusions et préparez-vous à la lutte. Ce monde est autant le vôtre que le nôtre. C'est en vous que réside l'espoir. Travailler, c'est lutter, et votre attitude doit consister à rechercher la vérité dans les faits. Yes, sir. Uh, you had said that, in speaking about Le Chinois, that you considered a film montage, that you began to order it as you put the pieces of film together, yeah. pieces of sound. Could you tell us something about it, uh, your impulses and the thoughts and the principles around that structured the way in which you ordered it, that structured the, re the reason you decided to put one shot next to another as opposed to, and what was the process itself that you went through? It took me three months to edit it. Uh, after one month of shooting, it would take now three months to tell it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but may maybe I can tell you about maybe maybe one thing. For example, I chose uh, on purpose because they were young people. When I put uh, uh, images of. Uh, Mao Zedong or Lenin, I, all, I try to, to, to show Mao and Lenin always only when, when they were young, because when they are, and uh, I try to, f to, to, to find a picture of Karl Marx when he was young, but uh, I find it only after the edit, and he was a very beautiful young, uh, he was just like Warren Beatty when he was young, <laughs> you know, and uh, now today you, everything you saw a picture, but from Marx, you saw with a big beard, and uh, but he, he was uh, just uh, like uh, James Dean uh, when he was uh, 20 years old. 20 years old. People come in. C'est pour ça qu'on est obligé nous de chercher notre idéal à des milliers de kilomètres à Pékin. There is plot because if there is no plot, it's impossible to to link two things together. But the plot is not what uh, Sam Spiegel is calling a plot. Obviously, <laughs> it's something different. It's a different plot. It's a matter of degree because there are events. There are events. People widely. are reacting from what they are changing from what, uh, and uh, one shot is coming after. At least I'm trying to. So there is a plot, but uh, I mean it's not a. Uh, uh, a dramatic and psychological plot the way it's used in theater today, for example. You indulge in such extremes, an extremely long take, as, uh, along with a very short flash frame, very loud sound, along with whispers. How do you think it helps your art now? Well, I think it's the... Comment est-ce qu'on le discours? Speech. It's the speech of the film. So this is the way it has to... to to, to be. It occurred to me in watching uh, what she was this afternoon. Uh, and then, on that picture, maybe it was done uh, a little more purposely because I thought it was kind of a, uh, a contradiction from a visual point of view or from a sound point of view between loud and uh, loud and smooth. Uh, and contradiction is uh, the main, uh, it, it is the word w which appears mainly in uh, Mao Zedong uh, uh, theory. D'une forme artistique aussi parfaite que possible. La œuvre qui manque de valeur artistique, quelque avancée qu'elle soit au point de vue politique, reste inefficace. Nous devons, en littérature et en art, 
mener la lutte sur deux fronts. And then where the personal feeling I like things going uh, like that. Sorry. I mean it's a, it's a personal feeling I, I, I like uh, I like oppo opposition you say opposition. opposition I like op opposition For instance in a number of the, in the monologues when one person was speaking there would be music come in and they go out yeah. and then with the records player uh, and it was it was very obvious it was done on purpose and I'm, I'm curious as to again what it was you you were after with that well not nothing uh, I was not af afterwards <laughs> something <yeah. laughs> D'ailleurs, je ne comprends pas comment tu peux à la fois écouter de la musique et écrire. Parce que moi j'ai bien réfléchi, je ne t'aime plus. Allez, qu'est-ce qui se passe, Véronique J'aime plus ton visage, j'aime plus tes yeux, j'aime plus ta bouche. J'aime plus la couleur de tes chandails, puis tu m'ennuies, tu ne peux pas savoir. Mais Véronique, qu'est-ce qui se passe Je ne t'aime plus. Mais je comprends pas. Tu vas comprendre. But it is, it's a mystery, les petits morceaux de Vivaldi. Why are they there Why is it a mystery when you are... When you are working uh, in the streets, you are su suddenly whistling for 10 seconds, and yeah. then, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, there is nothing more than that. Yeah. To me, I put Vivaldi only because it, uh, to me, it's a very joyful, you say? It's, it's a very joyful music. It, yeah. uh, it means, uh, to me, it represents spring and uh, tenderness and youth, and. Uh, and uh, I've put it from, uh, to my point of view, from that symbolic point of view. Every time I'd, I wanted to, to emphasize about uh, the youthness of those, uh, and uh, even if they were deadly serious, just to, to, to make the audience feel they were very tender to, I mean... Uh, Veronique! Tu vas comprendre. Véronique, explique-moi qu'est-ce que c'est. Pourquoi tu me dis ça Je ne t'aime plus, Guillaume. Tu m'empêches de travailler. Tu m'angoisses. L'amour avec toi, c'est beaucoup trop compliqué. Puis je déteste la façon dont tu parles des choses sans même les connaître. Je ne t'aime plus. Bon, t'as compris maintenant Oui, ouais, j'ai compris. Je suis vachement triste. Je compris. Bah, tu vois, Guillaume, qu'on peut très bien faire deux choses à la fois. Et pour que tu comprennes, il fallait les faire. Musique et langage. If I think it's crucial to hear something, be sure I won't make any <laughs> calm or no. All right, I don't mean that, but in a way, in a way, I'm wondering if you do this out of uh, a sense of humor. Are you well, playing? A you, you just have a, you are completely dis damaged by the way Hollywood is doing, uh, has been done, has been working on sound with everything very clear, or by the radio, by the way people speak on the radio. When you go to in, in the opera, for example, yeah, it's like uh, the example I, I put on with the Beatles. You don't listen, uh, you, you lost 90% uh, of the words, but 
you think this is the way opera is doing? You could control, you could have better sound if you chose to, so I assume well, that... I wouldn't, that uh, I wouldn't put it that way. But what you call better sound, no, the sound I is very good. I mean, <laughs> It's, I mean, the sound of a movie is done by a lot of things, by the, by the sounds of uh, that, 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 and by, it's done by the voices, and uh, in a voice uh, there is two sounds, there is a sound of the voices, and there, there is a meaning too, and there is a music, and there is a, I mean, uh, Guillaume, répond. words. You can print them, and there, there, there is a graphic point of view and a meaning point of view. Sounds ex exactly the same. There is a meaning point of view, then it's dialect, and uh, you want to understand what is said. And there is the, just a sound point of view. Then you don't care about the meaning, and you can uh, put music on it or make it very... No, there is no... I think if, if Hollywood is offering me an adaptation of a novel, I will just shoot the novel. But I mean really shoot on the novel. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? L'air ne reproduit pas le visible, il rend visible. Oui, mais quand même, l'effet esthétique est imaginaire. Oui, mais cet imaginaire n'est pas le reflet de réel, il est le réel de ce reflet. Il arrive d'entendre des déclarations comme « employer seulement les trois couleurs, les trois couleurs primaires, bleu, jaune et rouge, dans leur parfaite pureté, dans leur And I feel as a movie maker that um, uh, my responsibility is, is trying to, because we live in a peaceful country, we have time to do things, we have time for reflection, we are not bombed every day like uh, in North Vietnam or we are not killed like in Guatemala, for example. So we have time to do what we want to do and what, what we like. So maybe it's, we have our response, our task is to, to, n not to, to know what we are really doing and not to just, I, I was, I discovered that uh, even with breathless, I was, uh, I thought I was working against the Hollywood picture, but I was more or less involved with them. No, now, I, so I have to, to discover, uh, to make my, uh, how to make uh, a real picture for myself and to discover what is really motion picture uh, alone not and not to learn it from somebody else because I am afraid he will uh, tell me a lot at, at least 80% of lies so and and knowing uh, a few real things so I can go to people who just like uh, North Vietnamese people or South American people and bringing them uh, a real, uh, a, a good uh, theory, maybe about movies, so they can, because they are a young country, building themselves alone, so they can uh, just take, uh, uh, take, uh, learn from me, from me, and you see, I can bring them uh, something uh, fresh and, uh, and uh, independent. And would you like to make, on those grounds, would you also like to make a film, let's say, in Guatemala? Maybe in Cuba, if it is possible, because the problems they are there are not specifically my problems, and I don't want to make a picture which doesn't belong to both of us. Because if I'm going to make a picture only from my point of view, it's no need, they don't need it. and. Uh, and uh, it must come from uh, both of us, and this is not very easy to find. But you're quand même d'accord avec moi, Francis, qu'il y a quelque chose qui va mal dans l'université française. Même beaucoup de choses. Et bien sûr, ça, ça se voit suffisamment. Et alors Je suis bien d'accord que c'est même le grand problème, l'éducation. Oui, oui, c'est un des très grands problèmes. Et puis 
Ben justement, tu ne trouves pas qu'il faut tout reprendre à zéro Oui, mais comment Il y a d'abord euh, fermer les universités, comme en Chine. Tu vas fermer, toi, les universités Was that a scripted dialogue? Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. <coughs> it was the, the purpose of it was uh, delimited before the shooting, but uh, it was improvised from uh, both people. So he knew his ground as a philosopher and a man of action, and she had studied as an actress. Uh, the fact is that I, I spoke, I communicate with the with Anne through a small... Uh, and, uh, yes, and uh, so because I was afraid she'll be short of... Uh, because she was not as good as uh, a Maoist as I, as I am, so... <laughs> I, was, I was afraid she will be short of answers. Uh, <laughs> Avec des bombes. Tu vas. Tu vas jeter des bombes, toi Not to Not give a message, question. but to try to form something between uh, people together and then uh, to build something new af after the show, after the picture has been shown. I don't want to give a precise. Uh, No. very precise I message well, I, to uh, say things uh, has to be like that and like that and like that because uh, <coughs> it's not uh, a movie can't do yeah. that well, I, I it's I real life and one of the things you do in making films since you're not trying to lead an audience is simply place things before an audience for them to consider yes if it could be possible uh, I would like just very often just to 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 to, to show rushes uh, for example and uh, the audience will be allowed to to make uh, uh, its own editing after. Mais regarde, si je veux connaître euh, la, thé la théorie et les méthodes de la révolution, je suis bien obligé d'y participer à la révolution pratiquement. Mais tu peux participer à une révolution qui ne peut pas l'inventer. Mais regarde, si jamais je veux acquérir des connaissances, il faut que je passe par la pratique d'abord. Bien. Tu sais, tu es d'accord Oui, ça je suis d'accord. Seulement la pratique révolutionnaire suppose elle-même une connaissance de la situation. Comment Mais je la connais, la, la situation, tout va mal. Oh, tu la connais. Tu la connais, mais est-ce que tu sais... Et ça la fera connaître à... à... Est-ce que tu sais ce qu'il est possible de faire pour y remédier Mais tu es bien d'accord que toutes les connaissances authentiques sont issues de l'expérience immédiate. Toi aussi, tu es d'accord The only message, if there is in it, is uh, you have to study. And the only good, if you are, you can do two things, whether you are a uh, guerrilla, guerrilla, a guerrilla, uh, a guerrilla man, uh, activist, uh, warrior, yes, combatant. yes, whether you are, uh, and if, but if, if the condition are not proper, that you have to study more and more and more. And uh, there is nothing ridiculous or painful in studying. No, no, no. Alors, qu'est-ce que vous allez faire Moi, je ne crois pas du tout que vous le sachiez. Mais je crois ça, que vous oh. savez seulement que le système non, mais... actuel vous est odieux. Et je crois que vous êtes terriblement impatient d'en finir. Il n'est pas odieux, il est mauvais. Oui, Et bon. quant à, à ce qu'on fera après, ça, c'est pas, pas mon travail. Ça vous est égal. Non, après, ça n'est pas égal. Je vois mon... Mais Après, de nouveau, je continuerai à étudier la situation, j'arrêterai pas. Véronique, la situation, où l'étudieras-tu après je Moi, je ne suis rien d'autre qu'une ouvrière de la production révolutionnaire. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, there is no, no solution which doesn't bring revolution, but of course, a revolution is not the same uh, in each country, and uh, in some country it may it may appear very more like for example what's happening in uh, Czechoslovakia today they are trying to to do it very smoothly and very honestly and uh, and uh, but uh, it depends uh, of so many things you can't uh, say in, in Cuba it's not the same than in uh, in Russia not the same than in France it's different from here are you simply putting revolutionaries in front of the camera <coughs> without advocating Uh, a form of revolution, or are you, in the end, trying no, to no, suggest... No, no. I, I, with my camera, 
I'm exactly at the same po point, even if I'm older than them, I'm at the same historical point than them. Then you but I'm with my camera, and uh, if they're the one who, who want to make movie are with their camera with me, and the other one are with something else, with a paper. Then the film itself is your uh, participation in yes, a revolutionary yes, movement. Yes, yes, that's what I said when I said uh, I feel uh, today more responsible than I felt uh, five years ago. In using a, what in the world of film is a revolutionary film style, that you're not going to reach an audience uh, in order to change them. In other words, if your purpose non, is... Je pense qu'il faut mieux perdre du temps Pour et que l'audience sera changée plus lentement plutôt que de la changer plus vite avec des mauvais moyens parce que non, non parce que je crois que je ne la changerai pas du tout mais je lui donnerai ce que je pense qui est mauvais pour elle excuse me uh, Jerry uh, is it necessarily uh, the case that you must use a revolutionary form to have a revolutionary message then to me it's not a revolutionary form at all it's I'm the most normal movie maker but all the remaining of that are completely abnormal and no uh, 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 backward <laughs> backward people. <laughs> you certainly are the first uh, going in this direction, it seems to me. Mais oui, mais c'est une direction naturelle. Tout ce que je dis, c'est on a oublié de faire du cinéma naturellement. Et quand on étudie l'histoire du cinéma, on s'en rend très bien compte. À l'époque du à l'époque du du muet. Les films, un film moyen, même prenons l'exemple d'Hollywood, le film d'Hollywood il y a 30 ans était beaucoup plus subtil et plus intelligent, le film moyen, beaucoup plus subtil et intelligent que le film moyen d'Hollywood aujourd'hui. Autant on emporte le vent, était bien meilleur, c'est un film moyen, il était mieux fait que Dr. Givago aujourd'hui par exemple. Avant guerre, Griffith n'avait aucun rapport avec Eisenstein. Bien que Eisenstein ait appris le cinéma chez Griffith, il faisait des films complètement différents. Et Murnau, en Allemagne, faisait des films complètement différents. Et, Cha et Chaplin, à Hollywood, faisait des films complètement différents. Tous, c'était du cinéma. Aujourd'hui, euh, justement, les, les Eisenstein et Chaplin et Murnau d'aujourd'hui sont empêchés de faire du cinéma par des gens qui veulent faire le même cinéma univers, universel, mais qui est un cinéma mort. Je voulais oublier quelque chose justement qui, est, qui me choque beaucoup, c'est euh, l'année dernière, pendant le festival de Moscou, il y a eu des discussions entre critiques, et il y a un critique français qui a reproché aux Russes de faire des films qui ressemblaient aux films américains. Et il y a, il y a un critique euh, vietnamien, nord-vietnamien, qui a défendu le cinéma russe en disant mais nous ces films, les films, euh, les films russes qu'on voit nous donnent euh, beaucoup de coups, les films qu'on voit nous donnent beaucoup de courage euh, pour lutter contre, euh, contre les américains. Il y a, il y a, il y a une contradiction triste là-dedans, c'est que le vietnamien, euh, disons, lutte contre les avions américains et ensuite il va voir un film russe qui est fait sur le modèle d'Air Force par exemple. Still stands, however, before World War One, uh, even further back than that, uh, when people were trying to put message films across, uh, intolerance, things like this, they're heavily tied into a plot, and hev heavily tied into emotional scenes, which would certainly play to a larger audience. It seems to me that with uh, the married woman and, and going on to do the trois shows, you've gone on to an intellectual montage rather than an emotional montage. Yes, uh, I agree. Wouldn't you consider this revolutionary? I mean, this... I mean, if revolution is coming back to normal life, yes, it's revolution, but... Uh... How do you feel about the violence or the subject just of murder? Uh, what do I feel about uh, murdering someone? Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Well, I, I, don't mean it doesn't, I don't mean it to be that absurd, because these I are done... I want to show it because the subject was not dealing with emotion or let's say, storytelling events, it was, a, it was a ideological, so I didn't have to show it uh, practically, but only in theory. Hello? 
c'est lui-même qui a ouvert, j'ai tiré tout de suite. Non, Allez, on y va. I mean, uh, the important things was uh, that the audience knew they were committing a murder, the, a murder, and that the murder has been done, but nothing, nothing else. <laughs> but it, it's not really, really well done. I mean, uh, I think I, I missed something there. I don't know where exactly, but I, I could have, uh, I should have. Should, should have done it better. Philosophically, is there a justification in your mind for the the murders in La Chinoise? I mean, would you say this is not? Yeah, I mean, would you say? Uh, uh, from, from their point of view, yes. From their point of view, <laughs> but from your point of view, I'm sorry, I'm pressing it because. Well, I mean, from my point of view, after all, I didn't go to murder the Russian uh, ambassador in Paris, so. Uh, <laughs> This is a difference between a movie and a reality. Does this mean that you personally advocate or, or would advocate violence in a revolutionary cause? Yes, but you have to, obviously in France, you don't need to, to kill people or to throw a bomb. Or maybe if you throw a bomb, you, you have to try not to kill, uh, not to kill too many people. Uh, but in, in other countries, yeah, I wouldn't say, in Guatemala, for example, obviously, you, you have to be f for the real violence. In the last scene, in La Chinoise, does Veronique uh, learn anything? Yes, I, I don't know if you ever, if it's a, how it is subtitled the last scene. Yes, always. Is it, uh, I mean, in French, there is a joke between, uh, between, uh, la rentrée des classes et la lutte des classes because class means school and it means uh, social classes too and there is a kind of joke and in French to me it is very clear that when she she's saying I'm going back to school because going back to class and uh, to struggle class, it means she's not going back to school anymore, but she's going back in, uh, in life, in, in life and, struggle, and uh, class struggle. Oui, d'accord, c'est de la fiction, mais ça m'a rapproché du réel. En tout cas, il faut que tout soit en place pour samedi. Réfléchis bien quand même. C'était tout réfléchi. Avec l'été qui finissait, pour moi, c'était la rentrée des classes. Donc la lutte, pour moi et plusieurs de mes camarades. Mais d'un autre côté, je m'étais trompée. Je croyais avoir fait un grand bond en avant et je m'aperçois qu'en fait, j'ai seulement fait le timide premier pas d'une très longue marche. Donc, elle n'était vraiment pas dominée par un... Qui était le homme dans la dernière scène Qui homme Jean Sartre. Non, non, pas du tout. Non, elle était... Non, non. Elle l'a mis en place. Non. Elle connaît plus que la fille dans Made in USA à l'époque. Oui, beaucoup plus. Beaucoup plus. Oui, beaucoup plus. In La Chine Noire, there's considerable reference to the playwright Brecht. I was wondering in that film, were you principally interested in, in Brecht the Marxist or Brecht the artist? I don't see the difference. There was a great fight between uh, Lukacs, the philosopher, the Czech philosopher, and Brecht. And I think Brecht is uh, better because he was not only, uh, he, was, he was doing both, not only theory like uh, Lukacs, but practice because he was writing plays. Non, ce que j'aime dans Bref, justement, c'est que c'est un... C'est que c'est quelqu'un qui fait de la philosophie par l'art. Would you then evaluate the Chinois as philosophy by means of cinema? Uh, no, uh, the contrary. <laughs> No, how are we for time and how are you All for right, time and yes. not much. Thank you. Yes, so should yes. we then? Well, thank you very much to you. Well, we want to thank Mr. Jean-Luc no, Bordard very all. much indeed. I'm thanking and you.
sound, Robert Leacock. Thank you very much for coming. The movie, which we're all open at Radio City Music Hall. <laughs> <laughs> the Easter Show. <laughs>